Brachial plexus injuries. Brachial plexus is the crowded bundle of nerves located at the lower part of the neck in front of the cervical spine. These nerves originate directly from medulla spinalis and travels through this area to the arm for innervation of muscles of the upper and lower arms and the hand. Brachial plexus comprise nerve roots with the same name of the C-spine levels where they originated from. It is divided to three parts initially nominated as upper, middle and lower trunks. After making some interconnections among themselves, they become the names lateral, medial and posterior cords. This complicated anatomy helps us for estimating the location of the injury and its severity too. The affected side stay motionless even if the pr promoted to move. Motor loss can be seen also at babies. In adult age, traffic accidents, traction injuries, blunt or sharp traumas to neck region may cause serious brachial plexus injuries. Minor brachial plexus injuries known as stingers or burners are common in contact sports such as football. The clinical picture can be assessed with detailed physical exams at initial admittance. Laboratory tests consisted of MRI and nerve conduction studies are helpful for further investigation and prediction of prognosis. Physical therapy is appropriate during this recovery period of time for keeping joint range of motion capacity. There are two ways of surgeries. The nerves can be repaired or reconstructed microsurgically with sural nerves or nerve conduits microsurgically. Please keep in mind, reconstructed nerves can heal in a slow speed of 1 mm per day. That takes quite a long time period of months to years for reaching reconstructed nerves to the target muscles. Total recovery occurs in a small per percentage of patients. The amount of recovery is also limited to the proximal part of the arm in the rest of the treatment population of patients. If muscle and tendon transfers are needed, then they are secondary procedures. In spite of the, they are usual as a reconstructive surgery type of for gain function in the early postoperative period. Surgical results are better in this group, in tendon and muscle transfer group, in them with preserved hand movements. While this type of reparative surgery regains allows the arm functionality and also increase the social acceptance of the patients in terms of cosmetic appearance. Treatment has been made in early times of childhood for receiving appropriate education and planning proper life expectancies in the future. Please keep in touch for ask any question.